starting to feel a little bit under the weather and I'm, I've, it's been a long time since I felt like this. Like, coldy and sniffly and I don't like it. I asked you guys on Twitter for questions about 2017 and potentially reminiscing on everything that's happened in the last year but then also questions about the future and what's to come in 2018 so I am going to answer those questions now. What was your favourite month of 2017? I would probably have to say April because that is when I started in the Adams Family. I went to Edinburgh and got to spend a lot of time exploring that city, which is a city that I um, had only previously spent about three days in and I was there for an event. I was there for when Brave came out, so I didn't really get to explore the city um, and that was a long time ago. That was like five, six years ago now. So I got to spend two weeks in Edinburgh and do a lot of exploring there. Um, I was staying in a lovely little uh, flat with Scott and of course it was where we began the Adams Family family and it was amazing it was amazing to finally get on stage and play Wednesday and it was something that we'd all been leading up to for so long and so finally when it came to opening night it was so so exciting I also really enjoyed October I always enjoy October because I love the autumn and my birthday's in October but lots of birthdays in the Adams family cast happened to fall in October so it felt like everyone was sort of celebrating around that time and it was just really lovely. What was your favourite family event in 2017? Obviously it was the Christmasaurus. For those of you that don't know my brother uh, Tom Fletcher wrote a book called The Christmasaurus which then was made into a musical this Christmas just gone at the event in Apollo in Hammersmith and my brother was in it, I was in it, my sister-in-law was in it, some of my brother's bandmates were in it, all of our family came to watch, all of our friends came to watch and it felt like, it felt like the Fletchers putting on a show <laughs> which essentially is what it was but it, that, that has to be my favourite family event. Are you able to tell us about any work stuff in the theatre for this year? So, on the 21st of January, like in a couple of weeks time, I'm going to be playing the narrator in The Railway Children at Cadogan Hall? Cadogan Hall? Cadogan Hall. Cardigan Hall was a new one that I've heard. I never know how to pronounce it. Then I've got my own concerts coming up on the 31st of March and the 1st of April. Now there are still tickets for the matinee in the evening show on the 1st of April, so... The link will be below, get in there as soon as you possibly can. I do have a couple of other things coming up in 2018, but I'm just not yet allowed to tell you. But as soon as I am allowed to tell you, you will know. Did you complete any New Year's resolutions that you had last year? I think I made a video about New Year's resolutions last year, so let's find out together. But my main New Year's resolution is such a cliche one, everyone always says this, but I feel like if I don't do this this coming year, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. And that resolution is slow down. Say no to things. Even if they're amazing things, say no to them if you don't have the time to do them. Don't just say yes to them because you really want to do them. Yeah, I... I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And I think what I've learned is I'm the sort of person who will never do that. I am not capable of slowing down. And maybe accepting that is the key. It's not trying to force myself to be something different. It's just trying to accept that and manage that in the best way possible. This year does already seem a lot quieter though. I don't have like one big main job that's going to take up the majority of the year. Um, un unless something unexpectedly comes up. But currently I have no plans of doing like a UK tour. And I'm not signed on to do like a big contract in theatre. The only thing that's going to take up the majority of my time is making videos and writing, which are usually the two things that sort of run alongside a big main theatre thing. So it would be nice to have a little bit more time to focus on those two things in themselves. I think maybe my New Year's resolution for this year is just to live more in the moment. I know that sounds really like cliche and a bit like blech, but I think it's something that I just need to focus on because I'm, I'm either living in the past and thinking, oh, what if I should have done that? What would have happened had I done that? And I sort of end up dwelling in the past far too much and making myself really sad. I do that so often. I, I actually upset myself and put myself into a terrible mental headspace, waste so much time. And I can't do that when my time is limited in the first place. So I'm either living in the past or I'm thinking about the future. I'm going, right, so when that comes up, I'm going to have to do that. And this is what I'm going to have to do in a month's time. And I need to prep for the next few weeks for when that comes up. Or I'll just think about an event and worry about it. I'll worry myself sick about it. So I just need to learn about, right, what do I need to do in the next hour? That's what I need to learn to do. I need to go, right, this is my next task that needs to be completed by the end of today. And I'm going to focus on that 
and that's it. I'm not going to think about anything else. I need to do that. What does your 2018 horoscope predict for you this year? Let's have a look. This isn't something that I really make a habit of, of looking up every year. I am a Libra, so I'm looking up Libra. Um, I don't, I don't know what the best place to look is. Horoscope.com? That seems as good as any. The focus is on you for 2018, Libra. Be prepared for people to look to you for advice and leadership. Oh, God. On New Year's Day, your planet Venus is empowered through a conjunction with the noble sun and with an applying conjunction with powerful Pluto. That meant nothing to me. I need to read that at least four more times before I understand that. And apparently, love will reign supreme. Well, that all sounds great. So... Hooray! Favourite food you tasted in 2017? I ate a lot of good food in 2017 because I stuck with Oliver Ormson for pretty much the whole of the tour and he's got a real thing about food and coffee. So I let him look up the best places on like TripAdvisor where in the city that we were in was the best place to go for coffee and food and I just let him take me there. And my favourite thing that I tried on tour was in Belfast and it's called Box D. The place that we went in Belfast was called Hollahan's Pantry. We also went to Hollahan's Barge where we also had some amazing, amazing food. But Box D at Hollahan's Pantry was beautiful. Have you learnt or been told something in 2017 that you will carry on into 2018? Not something I was told, but something that I learnt just through experience and through watching other people. Whilst being talented and being good at what you do is a huge part of theatre and entertainment, ultimately you will lose out on jobs and people will just stop wanting to work with you if you are anything less than a pleasure to work with. What small things are you looking forward to this year, like spending time with people you haven't seen in a while? I have already made plans to see a bunch of people who I haven't spent quality time with in a long time. I'm seeing Jack Howard tomorrow, uh, I'm seeing Emma Blackery at the end of this month, I'm seeing my friend Louise Jones at the end of this month, and I want to see my family more. You know, I never really get to spend that much time with Tom and Giovanna and, and Buzz and Buddy especially um, and so I just I would like to see them all a lot more. Have you kept any souvenirs from any of the shows you've been in? Considering I'm keeping this about 2017 I would have to say no. No I definitely didn't um I definitely didn't take any souvenirs from the Adams Family. And finally if you could tell your one year ago self anything what would it be and why? Adams Family is going to be a challenge but it's going to be amazing and it will be over before you feel like you've even sung the opening number. So breathe and keep reminding yourself to enjoy it and look around and take everything in because all of a sudden you're not gonna have it anymore and it's gonna suck. Thank you so much for joining me on day two of Three Cheers for New Year's. Please remember to keep donating. The link is below. We are raising money for WWF, Copperfield and Girl Guiding and there are lots and lots of prizes to be won. I will link you back to uh, my previous video where I explain how that all works and what all the prizes are. And thank you so much for watching. Lots of love. Mwah.